Monkey, and today is both a male video. I can't believe I just knocked that against my chin. That actually hurt. <laughs> it's both a male video and a little bit of an update video because uh, videos has been scarce lately. I'm sorry about that. I've just been busy, 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 and kind of unmotivated and un uninspired to do these videos. And I just don't want to do something, film something that is half-assed and uploaded just to have something to upload. I don't want that to be my channel, so I'm sorry for the lack of proper videos. I have a huge stack of albums I need to do unboxings of, and I have a couple of K-pop jewelry times that I plan on doing. I want to do them, but I just can't find an afternoon where I'm not distracted by everything else. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and open this and talk a little more. Let me just readjust. Uh, so... Uh, this package is from DVD Heaven, and I'm a little bit worried about it because uh, if you see here, it's it's been kind of smooshed, but there's not a lot of stuff in here, so hopefully it's been saved because like it's only this corner, so like the sides are still intact, so hopefully nothing has been damaged. Uh, two albums that are both are pretty recent actually, so at least this one will be not two months after the actual release. I'm sorry that I'm always so late with my unboxings, but I just... I don't know. I don't feel the pressure to be like the first person to do an unboxing of whatever albums have been released. Uh, can I that I got were Boys Republic's first, what is it, mini album? Mm, I think it's a mini album and I was so happy that it, they included uh, Party Rock on this because I really wanted that single but they didn't release it physically so I was like so bummed but it's on here so I'm really happy about that and I really like the format of this, I'm really excited to have a look in it. Um, and then I got the repackage of Teen Top Class. I did not think there was going to be a repackage of this. So when it popped up on DVD Heaven, I was like, I'm going to buy that now. So this is like the first album I have actually pre-ordered in a really, really long time. And uh, I like it. It's pretty. Sort of reminds me of uh, how um, Will You Go Out With Me. Even though it's the same size as uh, the first Class album, it reminds me more of uh, Will You Go Out With Me. I think it's the composition. But anyway, I'm going to... Realize. I'm gonna start with Identity, the Boys Republic's first physical album. I'm a little bit terrified of opening this, but I think I can pull a corner. Uh, so, um, I need to film videos. That's the basic thing. And I just had a lot of things to do. Uh, this week, I absolutely do not have time because it's Wednesday today. And on Saturday, I am like already so frigging excited, it's not even funny. On Saturday, I am going to Stockholm to go to a VIX concert. I'm going to a K-pop concert with a group I like. I was, my god, I was so lucky to get tickets. I found out about, about it like a, a month before they would release the tickets, I think. And oh my god, I was on pins and needles. I was like, oh my god, what if I can't get a ticket and I want to get a ticket? And this is like, I have issues with tra traveling like far on my own. I've never traveled like outside the country without adult supervision and like could go on my own. I just I don't like traveling alone and I don't have a lot of people I can travel with so uh, I just don't like traveling. So I can't like go to concerts in Paris and England and Germany and stuff like that. I would but I'm just I'm terrified of flying by myself for some reason. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, they're coming to Stockholm, and I was like, oh, I must go, because that's just four hours, five hours by train, so that I can do. And my best friend actually is coming with me, and I am so grateful to him, because K-pop is not a thing he enjoys, and he just, doing this for me is so nice. 
Um, that we're actually staying there over the weekend, like until Monday, so we're gonna have some time up there as well. And I actually haven't been in Stockholm before, not properly. I have been outside for conventions, uh, but uh, never in actual central Stockholm. So it's gonna be exciting. Um, concert is on Saturday evening, and just talking about it is like I am burning up because I'm so excited. Um, anyway, on to the albums. I'm sorry that I. Uh, uh, keep going on here. This thing is actually a little loose, so I'm thinking I might be able to... I think you're supposed to be able to lift this off, because the spine is really beautiful without it. Let me just pull that off. I'm sorry, I just don't... I don't like it. Yeah, it was just stuck with a few pieces of... Uh, what's it called? Double-sided tape? But it's like an OB, I guess? Uh, I might stick it back on later, but I just... I really like this fabric spine here. So it looks like this on the front. Oh! And this is on the back, and it's like, it's hard, it's almost, it's it's like, I think it's packed paper, like pressed paper, but it, it sounds like wood. Um, there's this rubber band here on the front, so I don't know what the, that's about. Open it like this. Oh, it holds the book in place. Okay, I get it. Uh, CD is really, really simple. It's a, there's like a light, light texture. I'm sorry, I'm focused there. I thought it was dirty first, but it's like, a, there, there's a light, light texture on it. And... Taking out the photo book. This is actually very. You can take off the uh, rubber band. Okay. Photo book looks like this on the front and back. Um, I was going to say, is it upside down? Oh, it's a front back thing. So you can see it's right side up there and upside down, so you have to flip it over. Interesting. I'm just going to look where the center is. It's here. Okay. And I'm going to do this side. It's all black and white with the lyrics. And then if I flip it over to this side, it's more colorful, I guess. Yeah. Very nice. I really like their new uh, single, by the way. Now the name escapes me, but uh, I really, really enjoy it. It is a little bit strange to listen to because like uh, the verses are um, kind of dark, rocky, really cool in their style maybe and then when you get to the chorus it's like a total change of element it's a lot more cheerful I feel like so uh, it's strange to listen to but I really, really like it uh, so this is the Boys Republic album I really like it, it's really unique from Adam just that it's like pressed paper that sounds like wood. Really enjoyable. Really like this one. And then we have the Teen Top album. Which I am going to try and open without damaging. Oh, I could tear a corner. This on the front and the back. Truth be told, I haven't really had the time to listen to uh, the repackaged track. I've heard it maybe once, and um, but it's Teen Top. They're like Super Junior for me, I must have everything. Uh, this is actually really thick. I feel like it's thicker than... Um, I'm sorry, I'm very, very bad with my words right now. I um, feel like it's thicker than the original class album, but yeah. Uh, let me see, CD here at the back. And lots of lots of concert photos. I like that that they haven't done like a specific photo shoot. They've done some, but it's a lot of behind the scenes photos instead. These are so cute! Oh my god! I'm sorry. I must find Cap. Where are you? They're probably in H order, so he's at the store. Oh my goodness! Fuck, you're adorable. I'm sorry. I swore, but just. <sighs> But yeah, I really, really like these. I think this is what I loved about the teaser, just that it wasn't like a teaser, teaser, it was like, oh, right, there was photo cards in this. And I got Chindi. Uh In It's, when they had photo cards in that one, I actually got Chindi, Chindi there too. This one will be up for trade. Neat. <laughs> I've totally forgotten about the photo card because they, like, they don't do photo cards. I thought I was going to show all of the... Uh, bathtub and foam 
shots at least. Diki is also incredibly adorable, but I think it's the red hair that does it for me too. I'm sorry about the lighting, by the way, but we've entered into a season where lighting is very, very scarce. It's like, it gets dark after 4 p.m. here, so, um, and it's not even that bright during the midday, so. That was the Teen Top Class album. A Teen Top Class edition, is it? It's not even a repackage, it's an edition. Uh, Love Fool is the title of the new track, right? And... Chinji's card, if I didn't show it properly before, I am not sure. With his signature on the back. These were the albums I got in the mail today. Really, really exciting. I do have a few more, more mail videos, but this one is getting uploaded right now, today, on its date, because it's like more recent. Usually I'm two months... I feel like I've said this um, before. I feel like I wanted to be on time and I wanted to give you guys sort of a update to where I've been and what I've been doing, so. Um, got these. <laughs> Thank you everyone so much for watching. Please do, if you haven't, take a moment to subscribe right over here. You can follow me on Twitter at Sarukasan and on Instagram at ScandinavianMonkey. Join in for more glorious K-popery. And, again, no, I need to say this because I'm really, really late, but thank you everyone for 1,500 subscribers. I passed that a while ago. Uh, I thought it would take longer, but it went really, really quickly from like 420 to 500 something, and I'm just, thank you so much. I really, really love it. I really, really love you. So, yeah, uh, I think that's it. Subscribe, right down here. <laughs> Until next time, which I do hope will be soon. Bye, dude. One more thing that has been really, really distracting is Pokemans. Oh my goodness, I friggin love the new game. It is so pretty and I love Pokemans. They're so awesome. <laughs> so I've been like, I've been playing so much. Like yesterday, it's past now, but yesterday my hand was so sore. It was like a little bit crazy. Um, but yeah, Pokemans have also been very distracting. I think I'm up on 20, almost 30 hours <laughs> since I got it like before the weekend, Friday. I got a Friday last week, so. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> um, I'm listening to a podcast, uh, a Rooster Teeth podcast, and they are hilarious. I have been laughing my ass off all day. And I uh, got a package. <sighs> oh my god. Pokemon. I've had the tickets for a month already, uh, but I just, I haven't been wanting to talk about it because it's like, I don't want to seem like I'm bragging, I'm just really, really excited. Nice, because then you don't have to... Dropping everything. I'm also doing a lot of driving, I'm actually trying to get my driver's license. It is freaking terrifying to drive, by the way. But, uh, and I have like, one double lesson on Friday, and I have... Like the, what's it called? Uh, we have something called like the, um, you go out to a controlled area and you practice, um, like driving, it's like driving on ice, but actually they've covered the ground with some sort of soap, so like everything is really, really slippery and we are going there like the Wednesday after this, Wednesday next week, we are going there, a group of people to uh, do this sliding test pretty much, so we'll see how that goes. But can I still do this? Will this think that's enough blabbering? <laughs> I'm just really, really excited, semi, like, terrified of um, the coming weekend. I just keep talking, and I need to open my window and take off my shirt because it's really, really warm. Bye! <laughs>